right, more fun in the kitchen. It's time to bake it and shake it. This segment is brought to you, you could see the folks at Regal. And this morning, I am joined by top pastry chef here in TNT, Cheryl and Show Charles. And Chef Cheryl is showcasing Regal custard the powder, powder. Yes. For this morning. Yes. You, we you, are. You, you, you use custard powder, like you use. I use it a lot because. Butter. Well, <laughs> yes, um, because it's a shortcut way for us to to make mousse right, and that kind of stuff because right. a lot of mousse are custard bees. Right. And I like Regal because it has the eggs in it, so it gives you that true flavor of a custard, right? So the Regal and the Regal is very easy to make. So we have six ounces of water okay. boiling there ready. Boiling water. Right. We're using two tablespoons of the custard powder. That's the custard powder. Three tablespoon of the icing and sugar. That's Regal's icing sugar as Regal's well. Regal's icing and sugar as well. Right? So when you're baking, you have to have proper measurements. You must. Yeah, you yeah, must. Yeah, it's yeah. not like cooking yeah, where yeah, if you're throwing too uh, much salt, you can train a little acid something yeah, to balance it yeah, off. Must. Must. Must be accurate measurements. Baking is what we call a science. A science. Yes, you have told me that over and over. Many times. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> then we have an egg. All right. And we have five tablespoons of milk. As ordinary milk? Ordinary milk. Ordinary milk. Low fat if you need. However, <laughs> you train my counting off, right? No. You know that? <laughs> Thank you're not, you. A, you're not a fan of low fat milk, are you? No. No. It doesn't have any, you know. So, and we stir that together. Right. Mix it until it's all combined. Right. And this is. Uh, Custard base. Yes, it is. it's a custard base. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. As I said, because it has the eggs in it as well, it makes it even better. Right. right? So once the water starts to boil, we pour it into the water and starts to stew. And it will start to thicken. It's like a roux. Is it? No, no it's not no, a roux. No, forget I said that. Forget. <laughs> Joel, you're, you're going wrong. You're going wrong. You're going wrong. Oh you're going my wrong. goodness. You're off the but it thickens. It thickens, right? And you're smelling the custard. Yes, yeah, wow. smelling the nice custard. Um, people use it to make ice cream. Right, right, you know, as right. an ice cream base. You could use it for a whole lot of stuff. Right? So you see? Mm -hmm. See it how it starts thick. to tick? Yeah, it's getting thick. Right? So now we're going to put it in our shell. What are we going to do with that? We're going to put it. I made some pastry shells, oh, tartlet shells. So we are making, what are we making here? Let me Fruit get... tartlets. Fruit tartlets. Right. So we take some of the custard. You won't get burning, you know. Yes. I find you dodging away yeah. from me a little bit. Right? Now, what I like to do sometimes is take the custard mm -hmm. and mix in if it's um, any kind of jam. Oh. Go over jam. So, we're going to put some mandarin on it. So, we're going to layer the mandarin. Try to get that mandarin in a tin. In a tin? Mm hmm. All right. I've no. seen you use it before, and I, did, I was, you know, I said that's that's like Portugal, but it's always yes, yeah, but yeah. it's a tin product. Yeah, it's a lot smaller than a and Portugal. It's a lot than Portugal yeah, right. same kind of flavor. Basically, yeah, mm -hmm. so, same kind of flavor, right? We layer it nicely. Mm. Right, and the final touch is to take some of the ice and sugar again. And we dust it. Very nice. Right? So we have a mandarin tartlet. That's, that's it then? That's it. But the next thing what I like to make with it is, you know, holidays coming up. Yeah. We have the fruit cake sometimes. We find it may come out a little dry. <laughs> sometimes you can't get the measurements right. You can't get the measurements right. Yeah, right? Or we want to be a little fancy. Right. So what we can normally, what I will do, I will take a little bit of the custard. And put some rum in it. Okay, why so to make a rum sauce. A rum sauce? Yes. You know. Regal custard so rum sauce. sauce, right? And you keep stirring it up. See? Right. As I said, your fruit cake, sponge cake, 
any sort of cake you have even if you want and you want to sprinkle it on top of your your fruit tartlets you can you know you take it and it drizzle a little something so you're also saying that on the fruit cake you can drizzle this yes or if you put your slices you know you set up a nice buffet right. you know family coming around yeah. now you want to show off a little bit that's, that's right a custard rum sauce there custard. we go yeah no you know what i made from scratch yeah. they can't tell you the things <laughs> <laughs> right? Yes. And you add a little any rum of your choice. Can I taste a little of the rum sauce? Eh? Sure. Yeah. No, no, no hands. No hands? No, no. no right, you have to get a spoon. Let's get this. You can spice it up too. Mm -hmm. You can put a little cinnamon, cinnamon, you can put a little nutmeg right. inside of it to give it a little extra oomph, yeah. as we say. However, you decide to flavor it up. And as I said, the custard can be flavored with anything. Yeah. If you're adding a jam, however, normally I would lessen the icing sugar, the sweetening, because if you put like a guava jam or anything sweet additive into it, it already has its own sugar. Right. right? So if you take out a little bit of the sugar, it wouldn't do anything for it. Mm. Right. However, if you touch the liquids and stuff, we know that's going to compromise it. So as simple as it is, you did, and you did three, three variations. Three, right. Blueberry, so we have blueberry, strawberry, and, and we have mandarin. the mandarin with ah. a little drizzle of the rum sauce. Ah, Quick and easy. Custard, custard mm -hmm. cups, what are, you, what are you calling them? Custard tartlets, fruit tartlets. So Regal Custard Fruit Tartlet. You can get the recipe on JDCooks.com. Uh, do check them out. Very, very simple. Look at how fancy we can get in such a short time. Mm -hmm. by making a simple custard. And you can impress your friends this holiday season. Guys, I want to thank Cheryl for dropping by this morning. Bake It and Shake It brought to you by the folks at Regal. And I want to thank the folks at Regal for making it possible. We're coming back. It's a foodie Friday on A Cup of Joe.